Today we're going to be taking a look at the parable of the workers in the vineyard and with the context that precedes that parable. We'll be looking especially at Matthew 19:27 to 20:16, our main passage for today. But let's look at something just a little bit before that also. You remember the story of when Jesus was laying his hands on the children and blessing them, but the disciples rebuked those who had brought the children? But what did Jesus say to the disciples? Jesus said in Matthew 19:14, Matthai she said, Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. Jesus thought the children were very important, even though in society they were not important. Do you remember there's another story about a young man who came to see Jesus who was wealthy? Now a man came up to Jesus and asked, Teacher, what good thing must I do to get eternal life? This young man, he wants to receive eternal life, and he wants to make sure, and he wants Jesus to advise him on how best to accomplish that. So today, Jesus wa okite o mamori nasai, so shite dinji no aishi nasai to iwarimashita. Jesus told him to keep the commandments and to love his neighbor. All these I have kept, the young man said. What do I still lack? And we've jumped to verse 1920. Jesus looks at this young man who's asking, well, what do I still lack? And he comes up and this is the next thing he says. Jesus answered, if you want to be perfect, go sell your possessions and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. When the young man heard this, he went away sad because he had great wealth. Uh, 
もう貧乏になってシエスに従うことはちょっとしようと思わなかったですね。This young man, his, his possessions, his money were very important to him. And he didn't want to give these up by giving to the poor and then just following Jesus. Then Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you the truth, it is hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Yesu wa deshi tachi ni iwareta, hakiri ite oku, kane mochi ga ten no kuni ni hairu no wa muskashi. Now, I think the disciples were very shocked at this because the Jews believed that possessions and money indicated that God was blessing a person. Mo deshi tachi wa shoko ukete de shou. ユダヤ人たちは、当時のユダヤ人たちは、その財産と金を持っていることは、神様が祝福してくださった印だと思いました。それで、シエスはそうではないと、いろいろ例を挙げて説明しました。それを今日抜きます。So Jesus explains that's not the way it works, and he explains a little bit, but we're going to skip that part. Let's go on to verse 27. 27節まで飛びましょう。Peter answered him, We have left everything to follow you. What then will there be for us? すると、ペトロがイエスに言った。この通り、私たちは何もかも捨てて、あなたに従ってまいりました。では、私たちは何をいただけるのでしょうか。これで、シエスはもう、弟子たちのことをあについて答えますけれども、ペトロは何を考えているでしょうか Well, Jesus will answer that, but what is Peter thinking? I think he's thinking that the disciples had already done what the rich young man was unwilling to do. ペトロがこう答えてでしょう。弟子たち、彼も、ゆでて弟子たちを、金持ちの聖人がやりたくないことをもうやったと思ったでしょう。Jesus tells them that they will receive an amazing thing. シエスは彼らが驚きのことをいただくと教えています。Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth, at the renewal of all things, when the Son of Man sits on his glorious throne, you have followed me, will also sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Well, this is an amazing thing. イエスは一度に言われた。はっきり言っておく。新しい世界になり、人の子が栄光の座に座るとき、あなた方も私に従ってきてのだから、十二の座に座ってイスラエルの十二部族を治めることになるとあります。これはすごいことですね。驚きます。Now, there is a problem a little bit with interpretation and translation of this verse. この聖句をもう翻訳して解釈するのはちょっと難しいこといろいろあります。Basically, there's two main、uh, thoughts about what it really means. 根本的に二つの考え方があります。The first is that Jesus is saying that at the last、uh, judgment, the disciples will judge the tribes of Israel. もう第一の考え方はもう最後の裁きの時にもう弟子たちはその十二部族を裁くという考え方ですね。But there's another school of thought that you saw in the Japanese translation a moment ago. でもさっきの日本語訳にはもう別の考え方もあります。That is the idea that in heaven the disciples will rule over the twelve tribes of Israel. それは天国にいる時はその十二弟子は十二部族を治めるという考え方ですね。この二つあります。もうどっちが正しいか私は分からないでも天国にいたらその時に分かるでしょう。Well, I don't know which is right, but when we get to heaven, then we'll know for sure. Let's go ahead and、uh, look at what's next here. マタイ十九章二十九節から。Matthew 19:29 And everyone who has left houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or fields for my sake will receive a hundred times as much and will inherit eternal life. Watashi no na no tame ni, ie, kyodai, shimai, chichi haha, kodomo, hatake o stete mono wa, minna, sono, hiaku bai mo, no mokuyo uke, ie no inochi o uke tsugu to arimasu. 
今度の約束はその十二使徒への約束だけではなくて全てこのような行動をするクリスチャンに対しての約束です。And this promise is not just for the original twelve apostles like the other one was. This is for all Christians who have done these things, who have given up、uh, much in order to follow Jesus. So, a o k n o c h r i s t i a n wa o k n o mono o stete, she is nishtegal tame, no koto o sashte imas. Matai ju kyusho san ju sets, Matthew 19:30. But many who are first will be last, and many who are last will be first. しかし先にいる多くの者が後になり、後にいる多くの者が先になるとあります。And as you can see in the picture here,、uh, it's thought that the disciples were the only one present for this、uh, discussion. もうこのお話の時は、弟子たちだけはそこにいたという考えですね。そしてその絵はそれを描いています。Now, if you think about it, in society, the Pharisees and the teachers of the law were considered to be very important. They were honored by society, and the disciples were not. So the、uh, Pharisees, we might say, were first, and the disciples were last. Well, 当時の社会では、あの、uh, フェルサイ派の人々、また、立法学者の人々は、もう、高い地位を持って、もう、社会で、uh, 褒められていました。しかし、弟子たちはそうではなかったです。それで、そのフェルサイ派の人々は、もう、先のものでした。弟子たちは、後のものでしたけれども、もう、最後には逆になるようですね。So, the Pharisees were first, and they became last, and the disciples were the opposite. Now, I want to point out something, that this verse is one of two very similar verses. この聖句はもう2つのすごく似ている聖句の1つです。そのもう1つはどこにありますか ?Where is the other one?The other one is just a little bit later after the parable in Matthew 2016. もう1つの似ている聖句はもう例え話の後、また20章16節にあります。And it is very similar. It says, So the last will be first and the first will be last. このように後にいるものが先になり、先にいるものが後になると。もう前の聖句とすごく似ていますね。But these two verses、uh, bracket the parable, and they show that the parable is tied together with the previous chapter and the events there, that that should be considered part of its context. And the parable is, in fact, an illustration of what Jesus is talking about. この2つの聖句は、もうその例え話を挟んでいますね。囲まれています。それで、この2つの聖句は、もう20章の例え話は、毎度19章の出来事とつながっていますね。また、この例えは、その19章のことを描いています。と考えるでしょう。So, as we look at the parable, we'll see okay, it's an illustration of what chapter 19 was talking about. この例えを見ると、やっぱりその19章のことを表しています。So, let's get to the parable. まあ、例え進みましょう。Here's a nice painting of the parable of the workers in the vineyard. ブドウへの労働者の例え描かれているところですね。This is by Johann Christian Brand. まあ、ヨハン・クリスチャン・ブランドの人がこれができました。And if you look at it, you can see the owner of the land, and you can see the workers, and you can see the fields off on the right side. これを見ると、もうその土地の持ち主、家の主人。また、その労働者たち、また、もう右の方にそのブドウ畑があります。Let's get into the parable. And we'll see that this parable really contrasts God's thoughts and His ways with our expectations. この例えは、神の思いや神の道を私たちが期待することと、もう対比、uh, 表すのですね。Matthew 21 For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire men to work in his vineyard. 
天の国は次のようにたとえられる。ある家の主人が、ぶどう園で働く労働者を雇うために、夜明けに出かけていった。He agreed to pay them a denarius for the day and sent them into his vineyard. Shujin wa ichi nichi nitsuki, ichi denaria no yaksoku de, rodo sha o budo e ni okutta. About the third hour, he went out and saw others standing in the marketplace doing nothing. And he told them, You also go and work in my vineyard, and I will pay you whatever is right. Now, I should mention here, That the Jewish people at that time used a 12 hour clock, so to speak, from sunrise to sunset. Toji no Yudai Jin Tachi wa yo ake kara nichibotsu mari juni jika no kazote imashita, ichi nichi deshte ne. Mo nihango no yaku de wa, sore wa gendai no toke no jika ni yaku sarete imas. Shikashi ego no ho de wa, sono moto no. And because of this, you know, that they、uh, use this kind of measurement of the days, it's, when it says the third hour here, what it really means in our current modern clocks, the third hour would be about 9 a.m. And the previous one at、uh, the beginning of the day, early in the day, would have been about 6 a.m. And the Japanese uses the modern times. それで、もう日本語を見ましょう。Let's take a look at the Japanese. また9時頃行ってみると、何もしないで広場に立っている人々がいるので、あなたたちもブドウ園に行きなさい。ふすわし賃金を払ってやろうと言った。So they went. And he went out again the sixth and the ninth hour and did the same thing. So this Landowner, he's already gone to the marketplace looking for worker. This is four times now. So, they saw the hito tachi wa de kakete ita. Shujin wa juni ji goro to sanji goro ni mata de te iki o naji yo ni shita. So, they kono mo ie no shujin wa mo yon kai mo ano hiroba ni ite mo hito yato to shimashita. About the eleventh hour, he went out and found others standing around. The fifth time he goes out. He asked them, Why have you been standing here all day long doing nothing? And they said, Because no one has hired us, they answered. He said to them, You also go and work in my vineyard. Kari wa dari mo yatotte kure nai no desu to ita. Shujin wa kare de ni, anata tachi mo budo e ni ikinasai to ita. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, Call the workers and pay them their wages, beginning with the last ones hired and going on to the first. Now that's the opposite of what we would expect, right? The order there. You got in Nate, Budo in no Shujin wa, Kantokuni, Rodosha Tachio Yonde, Saiguni Kita Mono Kara, Hajimete, Saishuni Kita Mono Made, Juni, Jingin o Arate, Yarina Saito Ita. Mo, Kangairu to, Korewa, Tash Tachi ga Kitai Suru Junban to, Hantai Ste Imasne, Mo, Ichiban Hayaku Kiti Hito wa, Saigo to Nate Imasne. The people who came the earliest are actually having to wait till last to get paid. Not what we would expect. The workers who were hired about the eleventh hour came and each received a denarius. So, could they go to go to ni yato ware te hito tachi ga kite ichi denarian zutsu uke totta. So, these are the people who came very late and they came maybe just one hour perhaps before the sunset. So, they only worked really about one hour. この人たちはすごく遅れてきましてね。最後の人でした。それでもう日没前1時間ぐらいだけだったので、もうちょっとしか働けなかったでしょう。But they were probably very happy. でも彼らはすごくうるしく思ったでしょう。So when those who were hired first, so when those came who were hired first, they expected to receive more. 
that each one of them also received a denarius. Saishuni yatawari te hito tachi ga kite, moto oku murairu daro to omoteita. Shikashi kaire mo ichi denari en tutsu atta. Now the people who worked only one hour and the people who worked the whole day received the same pay, one denarius. Mo ichi jikan shika hataraka nakate hito to, mo ichi nichi ju kamate hito wa, mo onaji chingin o murairimashita ichi denari on this. Is that fair? So do about kohei desu ka? Well, in one way, it doesn't seem fair because there's a difference in the amount of work done. But on the other hand, they received exactly what they were promised. So it was fair in that sense. Mo futatsu no kangai katagaru mo mazu mo yakusoku sarete bun o ichi denari no morai mashita no de mo kohei desho. Shikashi mo itotsu no kangai kata de hoku no hataraki bito to kurabita ra, rorosha to kurabita ra, mo skunai desu ne, ichi nichi ju hataraite, ichi jikan dake hataraite hito to onaji desu. Dou naru de shouka. What will happen next? When they received it, they began to grumble against the landowner. So they uke toru to shuji ni fuhei o itta. So they're grumbling, they're murmuring, they're unhappy. Mo urushiku nai desu ne, mo fuhei o itteimasu. They complain, monko yu. These people who were hired last worked only one hour, they said. And you have made them equal to us who have borne the burden of the work in the heat of the day. Saigo ni kita kono rinshu wa ichi jikan shika hataraki masen deshita. Maru ichi nichi atsui naka o shimbo shite hataraita watashi tachi to kono rinshu o onaji atsukai ni suru to wa. Does this complaint sound a little bit like the elder son in the story of the prodigal son? Kono monko wa ana hoto musuku no hanashi de ane ga ite koto to choto nitte iru kamoshirimasen sono taido. At least the attitude. But he, the landowner, answered one of them, Friend, I am not being unfair to you. Didn't you agree to work for a denarius? Shujin wa sono hitori ni kotaita. Tomo yo. Anate ni futo no koto shite inai. Anate wa watashi to ichi denari no yakusoku o shita de wa nai ka? Take your pay and go. I want to give the man who was hired last the same as I gave you. Jibun no bun o uke totte kairi nasai. Watashi wa sono saigo no mono ni mo anate to onaji yo ni shiharate yaritai no da. So the landowner doesn't really explain why he wants to do this. この主人はもうどうしてこのようにやりたいと説明あまりしないですね。But he says, because it's what I want to do. やりたいからそれだけで十分でしょう。And he just says, I want to do it. And that's enough, isn't it? どうでしょうかこの主人は恵みを選んで、その最後に聞いた人、他の人たちをもう祝福したのです。遅れてきてももう期待しているより多くの賃金を払いました。Well, he's choosing the way of grace and he's choosing to bless those workers who came late with more than they expected. He does say, ってますけど、Don't I have the right to do what I want with my own money? Or are you envious because I am generous? 自分のものを自分のしたいようにしてはいけないかそれとも私の気前の良さを妬むのか And here we see that this is really also about this envy or jealousy. もうこの例えは嫉妬、もうあの妬むのこともう語っているでしょう。What about us? 私たちはどうでしょうか Are we envious of how God has blessed someone else? The solution is easy. Don't compare your relationship with God or your situation to that of others. Kamiga hoku no hito o shukuku shite kurusata koto de sono hito o natanda koto ga arimasu ka? Watashi tachi wa. Sono kanta ni sori o mo kaiketsu ga dekimasu ne. Mo mori no hito to hikaku shinai de 
もうご自分の神様との関係を大事にして自分がもらったものを感謝するのです。他の人のことはもうその人のことですから。And then we get to verse 16, which is the closing. Judok Sitsni. So the last will be first, and the first will be last. Kono yo ni nochi ni iru mono ga saki ni nari, saki ni iru mono ga ato ni naru to arimas. This parable has caused a lot of confusion amongst commentators since ancient times. Kono tatoi no hanashi wa kai shaku ya mo setsume suri ni wa mo mukashi kara. Uh, and the reason is because every way of interpreting it has problems. So there is no perfect interpretation of this. Jesus doesn't explain exactly what he means, and we do not fully understand this parable. されたわけはないし、そして私たちはこの例え話をよく分かっていると言えないのです。分からないところがいろいろあります。And every interpretation has problems, but we can still learn many things from this parable. もうどの解釈にしても問題が出るです。けれども私たちはまだ多くのことをこの例えで学べるでしょう。And the first thing I want to mention is that Jesus is letting them know that the way God does things is not the way people do things. That we find also in Isaiah 55a. So, there are easier show, go to go show, has sets ni mo arimas. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. So, this is one very important lesson from the parable. And how is God's way different than man's? Well, God's way is the way of grace, filled with grace. Let's look at、uh, two of the various interpretations of this parable that are commonly made. The first is to apply the parable's meaning into history. 第一はこの例えの意味は市場で適用しようという解釈ですね。So this is the way it goes. このようになります。The landowner is God. The workers are nations and peoples. And the times of day are actually different eras of history. The marketplace is the world. And the vineyard is the believers who are there. And the denarius represents God's favor or blessing. For example, the times of day might correspond to the ancient peoples, the time of the Jews, the time of the Gentiles, etc. So, this is the way we can do this. So, this is the way we can do this. So, this is the way we can do this. So, this is the way we can do this. 一人一人の人ではなくて、国々や民族を指しています。そしてその時刻はもう時代のこととなりますね。広場は世界、武道院は神社、世界の神社です。ダナリオンはもう神の恩恵を指しています。その時刻のことを考えたら、もう朝早く来て最後にもう日没の1時間前の人はもういろいろありますけれども例として古代の人ユダヤ人たちまた違法人の時代となりますねそのようにもっと細かくするのです5つあるので But there's, there's actually five time periods so you'd actually have to break it up a little more 
The problem with this interpretation is, as we saw in verse 19, I mean in chapter 19, as we saw in chapter 19, the context of this parable is all about individuals, not about history, not about nations and peoples, about individual people, about individual people's salvation, really. So that's the problem with this particular approach. And there are other problems as well, but perhaps this is the biggest one. So let's apply it to individuals. Well, then, そして、So in this interpretation applied to individuals, the landowner is God, that's the same. The workers though are believers. And the time of day refers to the age of the person, from the time they're like a, a small child on up until they're elderly. You know, that's from like the dawn to getting ready to be the dusk uh, in that interpretation. And the marketplace represents the world still. The vineyard now represents the church. And this interpretation really applies to the church age after Jesus came. And then the denarius represents eternal life or maybe salvation or heaven. Really about the same uh, when you think about it in this place. So in this interpretation, God calls five times at least you know meaning God calls all the time to people to come and join the community of the church and to work uh, for the kingdom of God. ある人はそれを聞くと、すぐ反応して信じます。他の人はもう長く信じないで、でも最後に年配の時は信じるようになります。What is the problem with this interpretation? この解釈だったらどのような問題がありますか。Well, the biggest problem is the wages. Because the workers are paid wages, whether for one hour or for the whole day. But salvation is a free gift. もう一番多くの問題点はもう賃金のことですね。この例えの中でもう一時間働いている人でも一日中働いている人でもその報いは賃金ですね。しかし救いは無償のたまものです。それで賃金を払うのはもうあっていないですね。So it doesn't fit for the wages to begin because salvation is a free gift. So, however we interpret it, we run into these challenges, but we remember that when we interpret parables, not every detail matters for the interpretation. So maybe this interpretation which applies it to individuals is really the best uh, way to understand it and just to ignore the part about the wages. So
And then we would say, well, the wages are a meaningless detail and we shouldn't try to interpret that part of it. So this is kind of like a lot of things where Jesus doesn't really explain his parables. There's more than one possible meaning and we don't really know what Jesus intended at the time. But that's not really a big problem because regardless of the details, we can learn some very important lessons from this parable. And I noticed uh, three things in particular we can learn here. God always keeps his promises. He paid those first workers what he promised and he kept that promise. And then God is sovereign and he often chooses to bless beyond what he has promised. So we think, how is God going to bless people? Not just what he promised, but often far more than he actually promised. Like the people who only worked one hour received far more than they expected to receive. And God actually had not promised them. The landowner actually had not promised them anything. He just said he would do what's right. Uh, and the third is, we should not complain when God gives grace or blessing to others beyond what we expect. Because it is God's way to give grace and blessing. That's his choice. And uh, we should not complain or compare ourselves to others and worry about that. もう主権者であり、しびしび約束を超えた祝福を与えてくれさいますね。最後に聞いた人々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々々
祝福して私たちがその人と,とイエスと共に歩むことができるようにこの教会でこの町でこの国であなたの愛を注いでください多くの人々はシエスと出会いができ共に歩むことがありますように聖霊を私たちの心に与えてください満たしてください私たちはあなたの愛のうちに生きることができるようにまた多くの人々は皆を褒めたたえるように悲しんでいる人々に新しい喜びと祝福を与えてください慰めてください苦しんでいる人々を守って助けてください癒しの手を伸ばして祝福してくださいそしてもうその人たちは暗いところから出るように導いてくださいまた一人ぼっちになってとても寂しいと思う人々にあなたの御臨在をそして周りの人々を精霊で導いてその人を励ますことができるように助けることができるようにしてくださいますように大きな感謝を持ってシエスの皆によってお祈りいたします。アーメン